So Young Nails has launched their full well extra long tip and I'm gonna show you how to apply it. I'm gonna start with pushing back the cuticle. Your prep is going to be exactly as if you were forming a nail. I'm gonna put this on 6,000 RPMs and go ahead and with no pressure, go around the cuticle area, let the bit do the work for you. And I'm on 6,000 RPMs. You could use anywhere from four to six for prep. From here, what I'm going to do is make sure she doesn't have any free edge. I like it to look like she has zero, then that way if I do like a clear nail or a see-through, I don't wanna see any of her white part right away. Eventually when it grows out, you will. Then I'm going to dust off her nail, come in with swipe to change the pH balance. You're going to protein bond. You'll go through all 10 and come back and do your second round. Now I sized her tip earlier. Perfect. So before I apply it on her nail, what I'm going to do is etch the inside. Even if it looks like it's pre-etched, I still would do this. It's just added insurance to make sure it's going to adhere well, at least with a 150 or medium grit arbor band then I'll apply it from there. I'm going to adhere this with fiber gel. I'm going to use the clear. You could use any color you desire. I'm just going to use clear because I kind of want a clear flow through the design I'm doing. So what I like to do, and let me explain something before I do it. Typically, if I'm going to use a full well tip, I see some people apply it like perfectly like this, which looks great to start with, but as it grows out, you're gonna have this lip of plastic right here. So what I like to do is adhere it with a little margin, then come in and blend it in. So I like to put it on the nail, and what I like to do is leave a perimeter around it, because when I put pressure on the tip, it's going to protrude out. And if I put it all the way to the sidewalls, it's going to kind of come out on her sidewalls, and it'll be difficult to remove that. So what I like to do is kind of get it right here, and see how I'm leaving the perimeter and I'm not piling it on and putting enough to where when I put pressure, it's gonna seal all the way through. Okay, I like to get my light ready. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my light here and turn it on. And then that way all I have to do is move back to the light. So I'll come right here. See right here, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a margin. There we go. And I like to hold it through the whole round of the cure. As you could see, you, it's totally curing through it. That is on there, great. So what I would, do, I would do is go on the other nails and start applying them all this way, back and forth. Once it's cured, as you could see, it's fully sealed everywhere. From the sidewall, it fits her perfect. That is the key. If you look at the side right here, if I were to build her extension, it's exactly straight with her sidewall. See this right here? That's what you want. You don't want to hang and you don't want the nail sticking out either. So it has to fit as perfect as you could get it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just kind of blend in the side just a little here. Because it's plastic, I kind of like to use my file a little right here, just on the side. And then I'll take my Arbor Van and I will blend in that little lip. And I am putting no pressure. She could film me work on her, but I am not putting any pressure to create heat. You have to remember this bit could create some heat if you leave it in one spot too long or you're putting pressure. So I'm going to prep all the way through, making sure you have scratched pretty much the whole surface of the tip. Okay, I want to get a little tighter right here and that's just my preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the square cuticle bit and this will help me kind of blend it in a little more. So if you look real close right here, you'll see it start to blend in. There we go. I'm gonna come back here again just to make sure my cuticle's nice. And there we go. That's a perfect prep to where from the side, see how you don't see a lip, it kind of blends. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here is dust it off. I'm going to square it a little more here. So we're going to keep this nice and square. 
Now I'm going to protein bond the entire nail, starting down here so I don't flood my cuticle, work myself up to my cuticle. I'll go through all 10 and then come back with my protein bond and repeat the process. Now I'm going to use concealer peach for my base. I want a slight camouflage, but kind of see-through still. Anytime I use gel, I like to have my tile here. I'll start down here. And go ahead and get it all the way to the back. I'm not gonna leave it piled up back there. I'm just getting it back there. And as you could see, now I'm smoothing everything out. I love these camouflage bases. I use them a lot. I like how it creates like a perfect background with a slight camouflage. Okay, so I'm gonna put this under the light for 30 seconds while I do the other hand. So Young Nails has new stripers and I'm in love with them. I love metallics. If you see my nails usually, I'm always doing neuter metallics, so I'm obsessed. This color right here is Puppy Breath. It's like a rose gold, so, so pretty. Um, the other color is High Stakes, which is a really cool metallic-y silver. And right here, oh, my favorite, because it's gold, is um, Fun Guy. So I'm gonna use these three to, to incorporate in my design. So what I like to do is kind of put some on here because I might take some off of here and drag my brush through it. I am going to use them out of the bottle, but I kind of like to sometimes have some here, maybe to get it to the sides. I may or may not use it, but I typically do put some down like this when I'm working. Okay, I'll get my brush that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to create is kind of just like, it's gonna kind of mesh into each other and just create like a metallic kind of alchemy color, like mixed metal, it's gonna be really cool. So I'm gonna get my base and it is, um, our base for our manicure line, but I like to put base down when I'm going to like mesh colors into each other or kind of have them go into each other. It holds on great because I'm just using very little and you'll see how much I use. And when I encapsulate it, it always holds beautifully. I'm not building with it. So it's just a little bit in between it. So what I'm going to do is kind of put it everywhere. I kind of think I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna kind of put it like mostly up but a lot of my clients are liking these designs lately where you leave a little like clear or neutral back here so they can wear it longer. So they spend kind of a high dollar on their nails when they get their set, but then they get to wear it a couple times. So I think it's pretty smart and a cool thing, it's back in style. So I'm kind of putting it down. Then what I'm going to do is just come in And there's really no wrong way or right way. And I wouldn't come, I wouldn't do it the same way on the next nails. I would just kind of follow through with whatever color and whatever direction I want to do. So if I'm kind of doing this right now, oh, this is so cool. It's kind of, see how it's self-leveling for me? I'm not having to do anything. It's because I have base under it. So just use your imagination from here. Let's see, let's put some silver through right here. I love how you could detail. See, I have a light, light hand here. I was heavy handed with the rest, but you could come in through here, kind of make it a fine point. You still have silver on it and you could come through and it leaves a little trail behind. Put a little bit more on. Okay, so you see how it's kind of moving? I love this. I actually like it. As soon as you like it, she could go under the light for 30 seconds or however long it takes you to do the other hand. So now I'm going to get my clear base Synergy Gel. And I am going to come all the way down with it and I'm not going to cure it yet. Why I like using base for this is it's super thin and everything holds onto it amazing. I never have any issues with it in between. You also could use Clear Sculptor, works well too because it doesn't move base I usually have out so that's what I use then what I'm going to do is open my glitters I'm going to use and I'm going to use new Hollywood um, and call it fashion I'm use both of these and I'm not going to overpower it I'm just going to kind of highlight it so it looks like it's really dimensional when I encapsulate it so I'll move this to the side so I'm going to do a few bigger ones just in different spots to see how you could kind of detail it and it's not overpowering it. This is one of my favorite brushes right now. 
Okay, then I'm gonna come in with a smaller cut, and this is actually the same color, but just a slightly smaller cut. And you notice how I kind of move my fingers or, or her finger around to see how it's faceting. I like it, that's perfect. I'm gonna take my orange wood stick, push these in that are kind of sticking up, and she will go under the light for 30 seconds while I do the other nail. The next thing I'm going to use is our gold foil. I've been obsessed with this color forever. We've had it in our line a long time, but it never seems to go out of style. So I'm gonna, going to kind of trill it on the top here. So I will take some out. I'll use my orange wood stick. Tear pieces how you would like them to look. So this is gonna give it a different dimension as well. Too. It's cure gel, so I'm going to kind of get a little sticky on my brush here. Okay, so I didn't touch the gel, I just touched the, and you don't even have to use your finger, I barely touched here. You could use the back end of your orange wood stick or whatever you're using to clean your cuticle area. You could even use the back end of your brush. Just something you're not going to keep touching. Put that up a little higher. Very cute. There's really no wrong way or right way. You just use your imagination through it all. There we go, I like that piece. And I'm going to use my orange wood stick so I can press it down really flat. If some's sticking up, it's fine because you are going to encapsulate this. Let me add a little more right here, just so it goes all the way to the side. Alrighty, then she's going to go into the light for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go in to build pink and I'm going to use our precision gels. And then what I'm going to do is start like right here, push till it gets close to the cuticle, and then bring it all the way down. I'll stop about right here. And I will fill this side and I do a light circular motion on top of the gel just getting it from the side and I repeat the other side. Move this out of the way so you could see great. So you could see how it already created a dimension just by laying stuff flat using different reflections. So I'm going to wipe this. All right now I like to come in like this at the tip make sure my sides are clean and then she'll immediately go under the light when I tell her to for 30 seconds. Okay, when she comes out of the light, I look at it from the side to see if I need to add, but I could tell I don't. I have a really high spine right here. I'll end up finally, finally get like kind of more taper here and down right here and I'll have her apex in the proper place. Then I'm going to come in with a swipe. Remove all the sticky residue. Come in with my dust extractor. Switch my bits. I'm going to use an X cut. Now you could use either an X cut or a safety bit. I'm going to use the X cut. I'm just used to using it. Pull it out a little bit further because you are doing a longer nail. Now with full tips, I do like to file my side, just make my side wall, make sure that it's really straight. I know it is because it's a tip and when you when you adhere it straight, it's going to keep its shape, but it's still kind of, I like to get my side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do from here is just file my eye formation. So what I'm going to do is come in around her cuticle area and as you could see right here how tight it is, I hardly have to file. And that is because I left a little bit of a gap for the gel to adhere or acrylic, whatever you would like to use. It works with both. As you could see around the cuticle, it's very tight because I left that little space there. It is adhered with the gel or acrylic, whatever you prefer to use. So I'm just blending it in here. Now I'm going to look at it sideways and you could see where you need to file. I'm gonna start in zone three and work my way to two because that's where most of my bulk is. You could see that I have a nice arch starting for support. So what I'm going to do is I'll kind of tap it here. 
and I'm going, my nail will hit right here, which is perfect because it's going to brace it for me. That makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna come in here. See, I'm flat on the nail, following through, but my bit not disappearing on the other side. And I need it, my bit just went slower. I gotta put it on 12,000. Now it'll go faster. There we go. Sometimes that happens when you're working. I had it on the original speed I started with. So I will keep going till I like the way it looks. And as you could see, you could see it come in. Then what I'm going to do is look down the barrel of the nail, connect zone one with zone one of the nail and follow through. A quick tip for this is don't look at your bit, look at the nail and you'll see it come down and you'll know when to quit filing. So I meet up to the spine, zone two right here, and then I start on zone three and follow through. I'm trying to do this on the tip. I like the way that looks. Every time you see me do nails, I do do just the tip part there. Let me check myself again. A little bit more here. And that looks great. One more time here. Every time I bring down my thickness, I go back to this position to bring everything tighter again. Okay. From there, what I'm going to do is I like to switch to my Arbor Band when I'm using gel because this will fine tune and shape my nail. I still will use my 150 file, but not as much. So if I need to bring in a little here or a little here from the clear build I used, see how it brings it in nice. Go around the cuticle area. And I just go over my eye formation again to blend everything in. Okay, I am done here. I'm going to fine tune it with my 150 file. Okay, I pretty much did everything with my E file, but this is just gonna ensure I'm really, really straight with everything. If you notice when I'm filing a nail this length, I'm always bracing her finger on something as I'm bracing it here. Okay, I go around the cuticle area. Okay, client profile. All right. This design looks pretty cool. And there we go. Now I'm going to look down the barrel of it and I'm just going to smooth it out here. And once you like the shape, when you come back this way, you are done. So what I'm going to do from here is dust her finger. Swipe. There's one extra thing I do here is I like to go around my cuticle again and you could see how it's making it more perfect. You could see a little bit come up. I do this every time after I'm done building. It just ensures that my cuticle and my polish is gonna look flawless when I'm done. So I'm gonna do protein bond and then go into my top coat. So now I'm going into my top coat. I'll choose ultimate finish. And then that's when you see your design come to life. Remember to pick up enough on your brush when you're working with longer nails. You need a lot more than the, like even my length. Double the amount. All right, Making sure it's not on the skin. It's not, but I wanna make sure everything's good. Okay, I'll final cure this for one minute. Okay, so when she comes out, and I like to go underneath, it just conditions very well. Rub it in, and she's done. Hope you enjoyed that. It was super fun to create.
Subscribe the channel now. Subscribe the channel now. Subscribe the channel.